Guys, we're here. We got Gunny's 2023 WR250. You guys have seen us riding. And it's time to check the valves. So I figured it'd be cool to bring you along. We're gonna do some fun stuff here and see if we can uh, find all of our markers. We've kind of already done it, but I figured it'd be a good chance to bring anybody who's working on their uh, 2023 WR250 in to see how it's done. So we're gonna take the top off. By now you probably already got your tank off and hopefully you know what you're doing by this point and you're actually encouraged to do it on your own. Uh, get the tank off, here's the fuel oh, line. Yeah. Oh yeah, pull the top off. Clean your bike well, okay? Work that out there. There you go. So now you can kind of get down in here and see where all the valves are. We got your down in here. Let's see if I can get some fingers to point. Right over here on this side, this is your intake intake valves, then over here, here's your exhaust, okay? You can tell by that, here's your exhaust side and there's your carbureted side. So, once you, uh, yeah, these Yamahas, that's the coolest thing, nobody's probably seen this too much. If you own one, you know all about it, but right up there is the carb, which is typically on the uh, back side of the engine over here, and you got your exhaust that comes out on this side. But Yamaha decided to do it this way, they rotated the engine, and what that does is it's keeps the whole exhaust tubes inside of the frame of the bike. There's no exhaust out here hanging out for you to get banged up on. So pretty fancy. Okay, what we're gonna do, get some light here. I'm gonna show you, and it's already kind of set up, but right here we have a little dot. Hopefully you can see that tiny little dot right there on the gear. And that's kind of lined up right here with the plane of this engine case. Over here is the exact same one. What we're doing is taking those two dots and lining them up and then you come in here if I can get the light to show you oh my goodness I didn't think about this you get the light in there yeah maybe I might have to do some post editing show some in here but right inside of there guys is a little triangle and that triangle should be pointing straight up towards your gears up here at the top at this little notch right there. yeah there's a notch yeah there we go yeah there you see the notch and as soon as that gear's pointed, there it is. You can barely see that blue in there, um, up at that notch. And your two dots up here are on the outside of your case, yeah. horizontal. Yeah. Then you're in sp where you should be. So then you take, come over here, let's see. And these feeler gauges, hopefully you got a set of these. And you go to your book, and I'll get all the things written down in the description so you can see kind of where spec should be. But you come down, and you try to weasel one of these down in here. I don't think I'll be able to do it on camera, but right down underneath here is your valve. Oh, screen died. There we go. And on this side is the same. So both of those are your intake. And then down here, uh, let me get it to point. Right here and right here is, is your exhaust. And so you're going to try to slim ah, squeeze these shims down in there and uh, they, sh they should gradually begin to get tighter as you go up in your specs so other than that it's pretty simple and straightforward uh, if you've made it down this far you're gonna do it in reverse and put everything back together afterwards um, if you're not in spec then you kind of got a whole another situation you're gonna have to deal with so we might make another video later uh, on in the year if that ever happens on this bike. Otherwise, uh, he's good. Everything's in spec. It'll, uh, happen. it'll happen though. They do. That's the biggest thing about four strokes, guys, is just kind of keeping valves in spec. And uh, it's not crazy. It's not. It's not something that's so drastic. That's uh, you know something an, an average guy probably can handle. But uh, make sure you have your books. Make sure you have, you know, everything you need uh, tools wise, nice and clean and uh, follow directions. But other than that, it's uh, been pretty sweet. Everything's been holding together for them and uh, it's been uh, inspected, ready to go. We're waiting on the snow to melt. Once the snow melts, we'll be able to get back out there and do some more. So hopefully uh, we've helped somebody out there. All right. Catch you on the next one.